Hey everyone, this is Mega Man, Tech Manager for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and I'm going to go through how to install this on Mac. Compared to prior versions and prior ways that we've installed this on Mac, this is going to be so much simpler and easier to use that I definitely recommend switching over to this. So if you want to move your save file to this version of the Mac installation, I definitely recommend you do that. All right, in the description of this video, I am going to provide the written guide because the video does obviously get old and I want you guys to have the latest version of the game at all times. So I'm going to provide a written guide which is going to point to the very latest version of the game up to date with everything in it. So please use that to download the game zip right now. It's going to be named infinitefusion.zip. Also in the description, I am going to provide a link to the whiskey app. So let's go ahead and download that from getwhiskey.app and click download the latest and you will get the whiskey zip. So now if you go to finder and you go to downloads here on the left, you will see the whiskey zip and infinitefusion.zip. So let's go ahead and double click on the whiskey zip and it'll extract whiskey. So what we need to do is we need to click and drag this over to your applications tab here and it'll basically install it for you. Next, what we want to do is we want to extract the infinitefusion.zip. So go ahead and double click that. I'm not going to be doing it because it does take a little bit of time to extract it depending on your Mac model. So as you can see here, it's already pre-extracted for us to use and it's shown here. So now let's go ahead and open up the Whiskey app and click on open. Now, if this is your first time installing Whiskey, there is going to be another pop-up that pops up letting you know if you have everything already installed ready to go. I believe it's trying to install Rosetta and also Whiskey Wine. If it detects that you don't have either or you only have one and not the other, a pop-up will pop up and say, do you want to do it? For, you know, do you want us to do it for you? Just go ahead and click continue and it'll install it for you. So you basically don't have to do anything on your own. Whiskey is going to handle it for you, which is really, really nice. Now, once all of that is installed, you'll be left off on this screen here. Go ahead and click on Create Bottle, and let's go ahead and give it a bottle name. I'm going to name it PIF, just for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and this is just going to be the name of the, of the Windows 10 container. So let's go ahead and hit Create. Now you'll see the spinning wheel here. This basically set, is basically saying that it's loading and creating it for you. So the duration of this is just going to depend on your Mac model. So just wait for this to finish and we'll get to the next step. Now, once this is done loading, go ahead and click on pin program and click on browse. And on the left, click on downloads. From here, click on infinite fusion game.exe, important, just game.exe and hit open. From here, you can change the name. I'm going to be naming it infinite fusion and let's hit pin. If you do not see it here, it just means it needs a refresh. So that's what the refresh button here is for. Click it and you'll see it pop up. Next, what we want to do is pin another program, click Browse, click Downloads, Infinite Fusion, and click on Installer Update. This is the updater for the game. So I'm going to rename this as Updater and click on Pin. So basically, the next time a new version of the game comes out, we're going to need to run the updater. So go ahead and click on refresh and you'll see it here. But now if you want to go ahead and open up the game, just double click on Infinite Fusion and bam, the game is now going to open up. Where I want to go to open up my save file location is click on Open C Drive, click on Users, click on Crossover, then go down to App Data, then go to Roaming, and it's going to be the Infinite Fusion folder. If I open this, it'll have the backups and also your save file here. So if you want to drag and drop your save file, put it into the Infinite Fusion folder. And the very last thing I'm going to go over is how to update the game. Say the next version of the game 6.5 comes out, you'll need, to op you'll need to update your game. So double click on the updater and that's basically what it's going to do for you. It's going to open up this command prompt and it's going to start downloading and installing the latest version of the game for you. Just wait for this to finish. It'll just depend on your internet and bam, that's it. So next time you double click on Infinite Fusion, it's gonna be the latest version of the game. But just make sure that this is finished and you close it out before you reopen the game. All right, but that's pretty much it guys. Um, if you have any questions or issues, let me know in the comments down below or in the Discord, the tech support channel, and I'll help you guys out.